So I just seen something I'd never heard of before. And I've, I've been doing this rap thing a long time. The eight Memphis rap sigils. Now, I understand the theory behind it. Go look that up on Reddit. I hear a lot of both sides of it. I hear people going way too far into it. And I hear people going, um, let's just say full on, uh, what's the word for it? Skeptic. <laughs> Listen, if you know how EVP works, see, to me, it makes sense, okay? I think the recipe they give you is to line some of y'all motherfuckers up. I don't think there's any actual sampling or recording of the actual murder. What I think they do, if this is the case, which I'm not saying it is, is I think they go and they record a track. Not the whole, not the whole shit, because you can't go where a murder just happened at and be chilling there, because you're going to have to do this within 72 hours, mostly. You do not, you can't even wait a whole week. You won't be able to get the type of, and I'll get to charging in a second. So, they go there, they probably record a whole track, and what gave me this theory is, A, knowing how the paranormal works, B, Knowing, knowing what I know about when I listen to the children, the corn, the single, the whole album has a, a almost like ICP went gangster rap, but it wasn't blaze your dead homie, uh, tone to it, except the interlude and the interlude is just chanting. I forget exactly. I curse myself for forgetting it exactly what the motherfuckers were saying but i could hear it and it wasn't directly word for word saying i'm aligning myself with satan but i forget they said strange energy dark energy basically in short it was just them chanting again and again they was aligning with that now it wasn't just the fact that it was chanting which big thing was satanism and uh it was the fact that track had a and it wasn't even a musical track you see what I'm saying it had a it made me like like I felt like someone died there you see what I'm saying like and there's nothing talking about people dying on that shit um it's only like a two minute track probably so like I'd imagine the way the sigils probably work if they really are okay you, you go where, where whatever happened, happened at, preferably within 72 hours, because you're almost guaranteed a response. Um, and you record probably no more than two tracks there. <laughs> because it's, you're going to have to do this most likely to get the best results within the first 48. You probably really want to do it within 36 to 72 hours, specifically, because... From what I understand, it takes time just for them to realize that they're dead. That takes like a whole day. So for the first 24 hours, you'll get the feeling like someone died there. Like I've walked past a place where someone just died. Like I didn't even see they died. I I saw a priest come out the house. And I didn't even know what he was there for. And I just literally felt like, yeah, someone died there. And sure enough, that's what happened. So the thing is like this, right? If this is correct, and it it makes sense to me, knowing what I know about the paranormal, charging is essentially because it says the more people that hear it, the more that charges it. Right? That's there's a lot of things, especially in uh, folk folk culture from like places like Japan or other parts of, especially Asia, Africa, the Middle East. And even, even South America, where they don't like angering the spirits. You see what I'm saying? Um, that's essentially what that's doing, is angering the spirit. Because the more people that are hearing that. And keep in mind, what's picked up is not nothing sampled. I don't believe they sampled any... I think what it is, is when they do that one or two tracks that are recorded there. Electronic voice phenomena gets picked up on it. That's why it had to be the tape recorders. You can probably still feel it. I know I felt like, yo, 
this doesn't sound like the rest of this. Where it was just that interlude track playing on that shit. So I think there's a lot of a disinformation being thrown out there by people. I think people are going overboard. <laughs> like people love to when it's this type of shit. They want to say people are eat we're eating the babies and all type of shit. But uh, let's just say I think there's some truth to it. You see what I'm saying? I think people in Memphis in general are gonna try to downplay that, and understandably so. And I think that um. Uh, base. If it is true, I think it's specific. You cannot go record a whole tape where this murder just happened, at, bro. You're gonna make the top of the first 48 suspects so quick, because <laughs> you're gonna have to. Knowing what I know about, you're gonna have to do that in that time. You see what I'm saying? You're gonna have to, especially for a murder, because usually, when people die of like weird other shit, like cancer, especially, a lot of times they stay here for a minute before they go. You know what I'm saying? But when people die of murder, especially because murder is usually a, a butterfly effect a lot of times where it's directly, it's often, not always, but a lot of times it's directly linked to something that someone did to that person who murdered them. They're usually, they're usually got in and out and then it's not always like this to my opinion, to my knowledge, right? Um, like, people get set up and killed, shit like that. I don't think it applies to that. But when it's, you did something to this person, so they came and got you, you know what I'm saying, back for it, that's, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, like dude said, it's cutthroat. Um, so I think, I think, yeah, I think maybe there might be sigil tracks on those specific, I don't think, though. I think you, because I'll tell you this, I listen to that whole Children of the Corn shit. There was not nothing else that literally made me feel like it was like I felt like uncomfortable. I felt like I really shouldn't be hearing this. And I didn't feel like that about anything else on that whole thing. And if what I'm assuming about it working with electronic voice phenomena is right, put it like this: they threw that record that shit and sample that shit in there to line y'all up. If if that. If that if they, if that's really what they said, people who did it, they told you that to get y'all recorded doing shit like that, so that you can guarantee to go to jail. <laughs> I promise you, they could do that shit probably with just the tape recorder doing it in the location the person just died at. All right, be easy.